Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Convoy. We got ourselves a new MCV this time after having gotten all the way to that quote-unquote final boss. Actually, we unlocked quite a few MCVs. A couple, at least. That's kind of neat. All right, well, we've got options now. I've got the, uh... I guess the name doesn't really make a difference, does it? Yeah, it just kind of changes as we go. The SRS Mobile Command Vehicle is a high-tech command center with limited cargo capacity. Starts with a pretty beasty shield, so this is kind of like a moving, uh, fortress. And then we've got the Dreadnought. The main logistics vehicle in the war, still capable of surviving hostiles and getting supplies to any location. Oh, that's hostilities, actually. Ooh, it starts with the missile launcher. That seems pretty damn good. Hmm. How do we unlock these other ones? Yeah, I'm curious. Win 10 consecutive battles with only the MCV in your convoy to unlock this MCV. Holy shit. Defeat the Privateer mini-boss. So I guess we defeated the Torvac mini-boss, uh, if I had to make a guess. Defeat the boss on medium difficulty, defeat the boss on hard difficulty. That just looks like a space station. Or something. Travel over 6,000 kilometers in a single run to unlock this one. Let's try out the, uh... Let's try the Dreadnought. That sounds like fun. Kill an enemy without taking any damage to unlock this unit. Hmm. Defeat the boss, okay. Defeat Andy. Who the hell is Andy? Defeat the boss without doing any side objectives or radio signals. Wow. That is, that is an extreme challenge. All right, well, we've done all we can do here. Let's start off again. Definitely not ready to move to medium difficulty yet, at least. Onwards to Omic Prime. Self-sealing stem bolts, sonic screws, flux capacitor, and a compression coil. Let's go. So th today, I think my focus is going to be a lot more uh, heavily geared toward going for side missions, you know, like just trying to get as many advantages as possible before we focus on the main stuff. Hey, guys there, what do you need? Oh yeah, the plague people again. I find the plague people a lot. Severe risk of losing contact with one of your vehicles if you've driven straight into a sandstorm. Probably want to wait this out just to be safe here. Early expenditure of gasoline, but probably worth the, worth the cost there. So I'm sort of just wandering around this time. I'm hoping that I'm just going to run into some bulletins as I go along the road here. A Torvac facility hails your convoy. Conducting an experiment to make vehicles more resilient. We wish to experiment on one of your vehicles. Uh, okay. They install a device on your vehicle and proceed with their experiment. After some time, your vehicle is surrounded by arcs of lighting. <laughs> Not even lightning, just beams of light from various boxes and projections. The lighting dissipates the lightning. There it is. Your vehicle appears unharmed. We thank you for your cooperation. Oh, cool. 110 bolts for nothing. That's a nice payoff there. Pass through a Torvac checkpoint and have driven through safely. I could lie and wait for an ambush, yeah. Several unsuspecting Torvac vehicles approach your position. You manage to blast several of them before they have a chance to retaliate, making the combat easier. Let's go, baby. So we've got a missile launcher on our MCV to start with, which is going to be pretty fantastic. Let's see if we can just deal some early damage here. And now, ooh, we've got good range on that one. I don't know if these guys are very randomized, but... It looks like they have maybe slightly different vehicle sets, or weapon sets at least, from our, uh, from our last attempt. Kind of seems like it's the case here. Ooh, damn, he's got a mine layer up here too. Okay, that's going to get taken care of real quick. There's some good damage coming from these folks. Ooh, I can ram this guy for sure. Let's get up here, put ourselves in a position to doom this guy to his fate. Oh, he got there too fast. Okay, that's fine. We gotta get this guy moving so we can help out. Let's see if I can hit these guys with a missile before you get landed up there. Ooh, nice! That was powerful. Oh my god. That worked extraordinarily well. Okay, I'm gonna need you to move back over here before you finish this guy off. Get out of the line of fire there. These two can both actually do the same thing. There we are. Dunzo. Alright, decent start. Took a little bit of damage there on our vehicles. I'm satisfied, though. We've accidentally run into one of our main mission beacons, so I guess I might as well hit this up now. The offices of Eiffel's incorporated a large building which probably also houses the actual production facility. Someone attempts to radio you. I think attacking the office is probably a bad idea. Let's open up communications. Cleared with a meeting our chief executive officers. 
Oh, you know what? We did approach them before. Let's see if we can maybe take a different route with the conversation this time. I think we looked around. Let's maybe just wait here. Two slick-looking businessmen enter the room. Samuel Eiffels and Maxwell Eiffels. That is right. We can't afford that, so we have to do that. There's the Monopoly. We gotta find a uh, particularly problematic individual. We don't have much of a choice. We gotta go get him. Okay. So not a ton of variety with the conversation that you have there with the Eiffels Incorporated gentleman. But we can definitely try to do some different things. We remember that uh, the man that we gave some goodies to is fond of raping and pillaging, so we probably want to avoid letting him do that again. Signal on your transmitter around a bunch of privateers. Pursue the privateers while trying to stay out of sight. I've tried this before. It didn't work out too well. Uh, let's try it again, though. They've noticed us. All right. Humor the hook. Have we fought the hook before? The hook sounds familiar, too. All right, let's get going. Got to launch missiles early and often here. And that is good damage there. My god, okay. I like that a lot. No EMP, unfortunately, so the shields are going to be probably one of the more difficult things to deal with as we, uh... As we run into these enemies, which means I probably want to try to at least give myself the option of, you know, like getting some shield piercing weapons or something like that. Which I think is an option. I, I'm pretty sure now I need to focus a little bit more on the possibilities of uh, there being like weapon sets and vehicles that may fare better against certain enemies than they would against some others. Which I didn't really suspect to be a huge variable but it looked like it looks to me like that is uh, maybe the case that was good damage on him that I didn't even have to do anything for there we go we're gonna move up and he's gonna avoid that let's see if I can get up to the front of the MCV now I should be able to hit him without any damage to my vehicles too nice all right that should do it not bad all right we're getting out of here I like the position of my vehicles right now too the remarkable number of clocks again and we got the loot for it Already quite a few bolts here. We got 330, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark the uh, position of the nearest camp, and let's see if we can maybe go grab some goodies. Looks like I might have to scale that mountain. There's also the issue of the plague that we need to purge. Maybe we should go for that as well. Because that's a, that's a relatively simple side quest to take care of. An object by the side of the road. Let's go ahead and investigate it. A light MG! Oh, cool! Okay. Free weapons. No problem. We have two camps pretty close by here, too, so I might want to consider looking at the other ones to see what items they have available. I shouldn't spend too much money here, either, because I should check the shop first. We have a Lancer 4. A lot of health. Slots for a whole bunch of things, too. This guy has already got a heavy plasma blaster equipped, though. I'd have to get some weapons, which might be available at the other... at the other uh, campsite. Could this be worth it, maybe? Probably is. Let's go ahead and buy him. He's got a lot of slots, so that alone is probably effective enough. Oh, and he's got a big old shield, too. That is a good addition to our convoy right away. I probably need to give him at least one weapon. Let's go ahead and throw the uh, light MG on him. Otherwise, he's got literally nothing. Alright, let's head over to the other camp, and let's, uh, before we spend any more bolts here, see whether or not we can pick up just a couple more weapons. I'm just going to assume that because this is on the top of a mountain, they have procured the most deadly weaponry we've ever seen. Have they? An auto cannon 60 millimeter. Oh, that's uh that's a new convoy actually or the new vehicle. The turbo stone light rocket artillery in a buzzsaw. Well, that's not that good. I like the auto cannon. Effectively three 60 millimeter cannons in one. Quickly fires three shots before a medium-long reload. That's a five-second reload. Yikes. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick this up. I like that. And I think I'm actually gonna buy this guy, too. Yeah. Because that's four vehicles in the convoy right away, and we already have weapons on basically everyone. So if we get some more goodies here, we've got the space to make upgrades. We've got another weapon slot on him. We've got a yellow slot. I guess I'll call that an equipment slot on both of my original guys. And do we want to repair any more? I probably don't need to, but we do need to buy some gas. Let's do that. Okay. This is going pretty damn well so far. I think we've, uh... I think... Oh, here we go. A squad of privateers are tailing your convoy through this desert. Uh, they're attempting to radio us. Let's radio them. We demand 20 gas. 
Probably should just save me the time and let me fight you. Okay. Oh, these two are big slow dudes. Alright, I'm gonna have to uh, address that right away. Boom. Alright, well that took some of the shielding down, I guess. That's... That's nice. He's got some good damage here. Okay. Where are... Where's our four vehicles? See, this is kind of what is difficult sometimes, is like picking apart your guys from the, uh... From the enemies here, because I thought I was targeting an enemy by way of doing that. <laughs> Uh, I need to focus more. All right, here we go. Ah, I can just stay there. That's fine. How are we doing? How are we doing? Obviously, I know that the green outline represents my dudes, but it's just you know it's kind of kind of difficult to discern that. You stay right where you are, buddy. You're trying to maneuver around. You ain't getting nowhere. You ain't getting nowhere, pal. Let's move back. Let's try to take that shield down. Move you up here and help out with this. The numbers advantage is real, man. Like that's that shit alone. Just puts us in such a better position. Okay, we're gonna do that, avoid it, and then move back. Another 60 millimeter cannon. And some gas. That's nice. In fact, I'm gonna move right back to the campsite and just re-equip that weapon. For... let's give that to him. Yeah. The turbo stone gets another 70... DPS. Or 7 DPS, sorry. Probably an important dissertation to make. Let's uh, see if we can maybe purge the plague here. We are pretty close, actually. Conveniently enough, we are right near the plague. Let's see what we can do. Secure the wreck for the cure. Several raiders come out of nowhere. They were waiting for a new challenge. Quickly load them and outrun them? I think we can take them down. I think we can uh, certainly afford this, and we'd like to get the loot from it as well. Alright, let's see if they bunch together perhaps before we start trying to launch missiles. That might be a better option. Because if we can get them all in, you know, a relatively... Oh, wait, here we go. Yep, this is what I'm looking for. That is exactly what I needed. Oh, yes. That is amazing. Alright, he's gonna go down. I need to move you over here to avoid that. Fantastic. Change priorities. He's gonna get killed, so I need to move over here, and then change like so. And we are done. We've done it! Oh my god! We got some firepower now! The Raiders have been defeated, got some loot, the cure is hopefully still intact, we got it. Excellent. We got another gun out of that too, another, uh, 60mm cannon. Not bad. Alright, that plague delivery position is pretty far away. A lone man wearing a sandwich sign. I haven't blasted him to smithereens, I kinda want to, but at the same time we're going for more side quests this time. He was wearing explosives underneath the sandwich sign as he promptly blows up when you get in range. <laughs> Why? Yeah, that's... That's the only question I have. Why did that happen? Fine, whatever, we'll deal with it. The KJL Trading Company caravan is being attacked by privateers asking for help. We have, uh, we have time for that. Most of the caravan has already been destroyed, but the few remaining vehicles are busy fighting the privateers. Let's... Let's go, let's engage. I, I'm down to, you know, fight the good fight today. I think we are more than capable. Okay, so we're gonna split up into pairs of two here. These two are gonna head down this way, and the missile is gonna go for uh, this guy more than likely. In fact, let's go ahead and launch that now. Make your target priority right there. You're gonna take this guy down. I like positions here. Okay, so. We do have to move a little bit. Oh, you're moving too far back, actually. You're probably gonna need to take on this guy as well. Oh, I don't know here. Hold on a second. This might be bad. This is not really working as well as I wanted it to. We're not even in range of this guy. Shit, okay, that's... That's a suboptimal start, and I probably ought to consider... ...making some adjustments so that these guys can move around a little bit quicker. I think I need more mobility... ...straight away. Alright, he wasn't doing anything either, so I need to prioritize things, too. He's gonna go down, I think. Yep, just that missile did the trick. Get out of the way of the debris. Very good. And he's the only one being in range for help there, too. Okay, I'm gonna... Probably just let these two deal the damage. There it is. Shield the blow, and we got it. As you defeat the final privateer vehicle, you return to the KJL Trading Company caravan. Or at least what's left of it. Thank you profusely. They regret to inform you they are mostly transporting food cubes, but they do have a chainsaw you could have. I guess. Yeah, sure. That sucks. It's not really what I'm looking for, but okay. Let's head over to the camp real fast. I'd like to repair a little bit, and then maybe even equip a couple of these weapons. I guess it doesn't hurt to have the buzzsaw on if I've got the space for it, right? That makes sense. Or I could just scrap it, too. That's another viable option. Repair the MCV. Get a little bit of repairs on that guy. And let's see what we can do here. Don't have the space for it on Jet Flower, I think is what his name is. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody has the slots for it right now. So let's just go ahead and scrap it, I suppose. This isn't even a very good weapon here, so let's just scrap them both. Not even worth keeping in our inventory for the lack of space. And we'll buy a little bit more gas here as well. And we'll head out. Okay. It's so going a little bit of a circle, but as long as I cut through the middle, I think we'll be okay. A squad of privateers, we'll go ahead and speed off after them. They're jettisoning their cargo in order to stay ahead. Several crates of cargo hit the sand. Probably not very valuable if they're just leaving it behind, would be my initial suspicion, but I'm curious enough. 89 bolts. Oh, cool. All right. Well, that's, again, free money. It's hard to argue with that. Let's get back in the road here, because it looks like we're going to have to go this way anyway. Cut down on the travel time a bit. Maybe even get closer to that 6,000 kilometer goal, right? Down to 32 gas here, actually. I kind of want to go... Ooh, here we go. Dust cloud in the distance. You are under attack. Let's prepare. We're ready. We're ready for the fight. I'm going to head to this next camp, I think, and I'm going to try to... Uh... Oh, here we go. Good, good missile launch. Yes, there's some good damage. Okay. You were going to target him, and everybody needs to start moving toward the enemies. You need to move back. You need to move back. Everyone's going for the rear of the MCV, which is not great. You both got targets, as do you. You're actually going to go around this way. Oh, my God. I wish they didn't have to go all the way over to that square to commit to what they were doing. Oh, my God. It's so ridiculous. All right. Everybody can hit their targets, right? Yeah, you got everything you want to do. He's going to go down pretty soon, so you're going to have to shift over here to change targets. You are almost there to be able to hit him. And then we're just going to launch a quick missile just to deal the damage. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, they're all exploding. <laughs> There's the loot. All right. Let's hit the main camp up real fast. We're going to camp out and give our new vehicles some upgrades so they don't take forever in a day to get to where they need to go. In fact, let's give them a couple of upgrades to handling. We've got, we kind of have the money to spend right now. So I'd like to, I'd like to make that better. Repair the MCV a touch. Don't really need to do anything else. Let's buy more gasoline. And that ought to do it. I could probably stand to make a couple more upgrades, actually. Let's give... Let's give the MCV... No, I probably don't need to do that. I don't, I don't think I need to worry about health and armor upgrades for the MCV. Ever? Is debatable? Because it's like, I'd much rather spend the bolts on what keeps the MCV free from harm as opposed to what keeps it alive for a little longer. That's just an interesting argument to have to be made against making the MCV better. Let's hit this up real fast. And to try to run, you know, I should really try to run into every bullet and I see a lone rundown garage strangely situated in the desert calling himself Glenn Matthews. Quite the handyman asks us if he can look at your vehicles. Okay. Thank you very much for letting me look at them. All right. <laughs> That's it? That's it. I wanted to shoot him, but... Eh. Sometimes you just get the option to shoot a guy or say goodbye. Your radio picks up, Button down the hatches, mate, it's gonna get ugly. Please say hello to seven. I don't know what that means. I don't understand what you're saying, buddy. How's our handling looking now? It's actually a lot better. I am pleased with the upgrade. Oh, that was dangerous. Wow, I think I took some damage from that one, but we're okay. All right, keep moving back. Keep moving back. You need to hit over here. Deal with that guy. You don't need to move that way, though. You just stay right where you are, buddy. You're going to change priority targets to that. You're going to move up and start hitting this dude and also intercept his damage to the MCV, right? Perfect. We've got a good thing going. Just face tank it. Who cares? Take the damage. I don't even mind. Almost got a uh, missile launch back. He's going to go down pretty soon here. Almost there. Almost got it. Oh, let's move out. Let's move out. Go, go. Oh, still took the damage. All right, he's still alive, unfortunately. I do need to move back here. And let's just launch a missile there to take care of this guy. Should do enough damage. He's going to go down. Got to get out of the way for this. And we should avoid it. Nice. Take the loot. Got to get the hell out of that. Very good. Very, very good. Let's go deliver the plague, and then we'll hit that bulletin right there. Find Guy's cousin to distribute the plague cure. The people of Colonia are glad you helped them and declare you to be local heroes. We all pitched in. A plasma gun for a token of appreciation. That's cool. It's a heavy plasma gun. I could probably use that. Broadcasted from a decrepit shutter semaphore tower. Switching in a fixed pattern. 
Judging from the equipment inside, you suspect this tower to have been part of a large number of Murray Six Shutter Optical Telegraphs. The lone remaining tower, all the stranger. Look for loot. Oh, there's the Terry Pratchett thing, okay. Yeah, we're, we're not allowed to touch that. That's, that's a memorial there. My morals have boundaries. We've had a lot of fights here, so we're getting some good loot. Oh, come on, what is that? What is that 100 health damage that I can do nothing about right out of the gate? Thank you. Thank you very much for that start. All right. They're coming right to us, so we probably don't even need to move here unless I want to... Yeah, you know I can do that. Kind of cut him off a little bit. I'm just going to deal with that rocket artillery. Nothing much I can help the situation with there. Uh, we're doing damage from everyone here, I think. Turbo Stone is out of range, which means he is moving out this way, so I'm just going to change targets to that. You're going to move over here to help him out, and you're going to start going up to take care of this guy. Good, good. Okay. Switch targets. Move back. He's going to hit this damage for me. Thank you very much. You're too kind. Uh, finish him off real fast. That's enough damage there. The MCV is going to take the brunt of that, unfortunately. I can't really do much about that there. Uh, there's two enemies within range of a missile, which means if I move back like this, I should hit them both. Booyah. Okay, that does the job. These are both enemies, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Change targets. They're going to hit with that, so let's maybe see if we can move back. Actually, we need to move all the way back and get to this position so we can avoid this death. There we go. Okay, everyone change targets to here. And you're going to move to the front. And there it goes. Hooray! Good work, everyone! I love having four vehicles. Light pulse laser in there. Hmm. Okay. We now have two more weapons to equip, should I be so inclined. Large number of privateer vehicles engaged in combat. There seem to be two separate groups fighting each other. I've got an itchy trigger finger here. I'm going to go in and move in to engage with both at the same time. Then we're probably going to have to go for a, uh, a healing stint in a second here as well. Let's see if I can hit both of these guys. Boom, baby! Okay. Let's do it. Let's try to, uh, make individual targets, uh, more focused priority here. Let's do two to each vehicle or something like that. Oh my god, wow, that, what the hell was that? Something just totally exploded there. I should not let this guy, oh my god, he's taking a ton of damage actually. Oh shit, I don't know, really, I really don't want to lose him. I'm gonna get out of the way here. He's, he's still gonna try to fight, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him stay alive. I probably need to head to a camp pretty soon here too. Uh, you can probably get in range without too much damage being taken. I don't know, this is a little, uh, this is a little worrisome here. I'm gonna get it back in range, this guy can't do nothing. Uh, you don't want to be around here anymore. Okay, yeah, you're just gonna hang out back in the, back in the safe zone. Let's hit these two, or at least the one, there we go. These guys have some pretty strong shields, I'm not really liking this too much. What the hell did you just get hit by? Oh, they've got a freaking drone on him, shit! Is he going to get hit by that? Yep, okay, well, <laughs> that helps. Please stay alive, buddy. Please stay alive. Don't die here. Don't die here, man. You can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. He's almost gone. He's almost gone. You're running away. You're going to live through it. You're going to see the end of this tunnel. Come on. All right, launch the missile. Take him down. Thank you. All right. My God, sliver of health there. Another light MG from that as well. All right, we've got gas. We need to avoid some stuff while we search for this campsite. 54 kilometers away. We've got a good supply of bolts as well. And some new weaponry, so we should definitely be looking for this camp. Here we go. Oh, God. Lone Torvac vehicle driving the distance. Avoid contact. Unfazed as it continues along its way. That was probably important, but I can't really risk it right now. I don't want to lose this vehicle here, so let's go ahead and get some repairs going. My God. Thank you. Lost all the armor on this guy, too. Holy shit. And the MCV was hurting, too. Oh, my God. We just had to spend a shitload of money on repairs. I'm glad we, uh, I'm glad we made a direct effort to get to this new campsite. Let's see what they got in their shop, actually. Hmm. Medium railgun. Ignores shields. Uh, that's kind of tempting. We've got a death fox here, too. Ooh. Could we get rid of one of our vehicles here? I don't think so. What, I wonder what would happen if I bought a new vehicle. Can I have five in my convoy? I doubt it. I kind of want to try it. Because I feel like I'd much rather have that than this guy. And then we can just take the heavy MG off of him. I'm going to try this out. I'm curious enough to find out whether or not this would happen. Okay, so we do have to get rid of someone. Let's get rid of Blue Sky. 
We can sell him for 40 bolts. And now we have this stuff. We're good, right? Yeah, I think we can just confirm that. Wait, what are we doing? Why do I have to sell something? Oh, well, I'll just sell that, I guess. Okay. I don't know why I had to sell an item, but whatever. All right, we now have... Hard Sky. Who's going to equip a... Let's do a heavy plasma cannon. And a heavy MG. That seems pretty good. Well, that was... That was fun. Luckily, we have no personal ties to that guy, so I don't feel too bad dumping him off. Let's head out. I'm ready to go. We got plenty of gasoline still, too. Let's see if there's anything nearby here as far as the main quests are concerned. We got 195 that way, 326 down the other side. Everything is down to the southwest. That's unfortunate. And those things obviously going on over there. Well, curiosity again, just getting the better of me here. Let's see if maybe I can find something along the lines of uh, points of interest through this road. Doesn't look like we're going to. The highway leads you to a small hamlet built by the road. Sadly, they won't be able to service your convoys. The entire hamlet has been ravaged. Trashed and looted. Let's investigate. You don't find anything of worth. Okay. Totally useless. There's a bulletin. I'm calling them bulletins. They're probably more like... I don't know, what would those be called? Alerts? Something like that. I don't know. Not a huge deal. The urban area, you know, the civilians mindlessly lumbering through the streets. Ah, oh, it's the mind control colors from the Torvac. We haven't approached a civilian before. All of them halt and turn to stare at your convoy. Before you have a chance to react, they suddenly speed toward your convoy and explode when near. More civilians converge toward your position from the surrounding streets and alleyways. Shoot them! Despite your efforts, a few of them still manage to reach your convoy, damaging one of your vehicles in the process. Eventually, the constant stream comes to an end. A transmitter device in the suspected was responsible for mind-controlling these civilians. Judging from its design, it was manufactured by Torvac. Let's salvage it. Ah. Oh, my god. That went horribly wrong. Look out for trouble. Okay, we're fine. Oh my goodness. That is not the way to handle the mind control area. That much we've learned now. Holy shit. Civilians just exploding toward me. Ambush! One of your vehicles has suffered damage. Uh, let's fight him back. Here we go. See how good our new crew member is. We've taken some seriously unfair damage here, I think. There's a good start. All right. Begin targeting. Begin targeting sequence. Oh, those drones, man. I do not like those drones. We're going to blow that up. There we go. Let's just change targets over here. Get you going. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Let's go. Everybody got a target? Everybody got a target, right? I think they do. We're just trying to move up in the range here. There we go. Okay. That does the job. We're going to launch a missile, assuming these guys start to line up in the front row here, which they may end up doing. Yep, there it is. There's the opportunity. Kabam! Oh, That's helpful. That is helpful and happening. Let's get closer to this guy. Let's just kind of wall him off the pass here. And you need to move up a little further, too. You take him down. He's next on the list. Oh, my God. Look at the damage from this guy. That's insane. Right, he's going to go down, too. I've got a missile. I might as well launch it. Not like I have a limited supply or anything. He's probably going to go down anyway, but just to make sure we don't run into those walls. Okay, fantastic. Decent loot. I'm guessing we probably get less loot if we go into the higher difficulty modes. That would, that would probably make sense. Smoking privateer vehicle in the distance emitting an emergency signal. Down on my luck. Hmm. I don't trust privateers. Managed to acquire 104 bolts for executing the privateers. See, those are usually just way more profitable than trying to help people out. Which is just the cruel reality of the world. Given the opportunity, if you can abandon all sense of morality, you just need to do so. The best things in life are free! Prepare for annihilation. We are Torvac. Apparently we resemble classic Star Trek sci-fi robots. There is nothing remarkable or redeemable about our personas. 
We simply exist. Here we go. My god, we're doing some serious damage with this crew. This crew is killing it, but that laser needs to stop on my MCV. I do not appreciate that, friend. Take that shield down. Oh, we're so close to launching another very effective missile there, but they did manage to move out of the way. All right, we got to move back here. Well done, well done. He's going to go down too, and uh, you know what? I might just ram this guy. I might just ram this sucker. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> there we go. Light pulse laser. Okay, then. We're getting some decent stuff. I'm trying to head straight for this camp because I'd like to get some repairs done, and it looks like we might be able to afford some good shit. And some gasoline, too, I guess. Seems like a reasonable call. The shop contains two buzz saws and a clear dog. Got a lot of mobility and a light rocket artillery. That is... That is not what we need. Let's get the repairs going on the MCV here. Get for this guy as well. The new crew members, okay. Probably time to get some sh uh, vehicle upgrades here, actually. So let's see what we can do. Bump up the range a couple notches for everybody. Seems like a decent call. I like the range and the handling for our for our big boys. And we'll give you a little bit more love in the handling department as well. And you get that double bump. Maybe some more health and armor? That seriously is like one of the least... Or one of the lowest priority upgrades I feel like I can make. That might just be me, I don't know. Oh, I forgot I got these new weapons too. I don't think I'm gonna want to equip any of them though. Very effective against health does nothing against armor. Private your camp at the distance? Uh, they haven't noticed us. Let's ambush them. Wait for the privateers to come along. Your position wasn't as good as expected. They never seemed to turn up. Fine. Let's just go. Fuck it. Let's go fight them face to face. I'm okay with that. All right, so now we've got a bunch more range on all of our vehicles here. I feel like I probably don't even do need to do too much moving. Oh my god, this guy's like no armor whatsoever to speak of. Yeah, we can just probably stay where we are and just let them come to us. It's going to be good to hit both of these guys. Very nice. Although I think I would still prefer prioritizing targets based on their uh, damage and or, you know, convenience of a point of access to our vehicles. Is this guy repairing himself? What the shit? I'd like for that not to happen very much. All right, we need to shift over here. Get this target going. I think you honestly need to move up here and kill this guy with the mine layer, because that's just annoying. That is very annoying. There he goes. Shift over this way. Avoid the vehicle damage, which is actually going to happen. Yep, there we go. There it is. Move back down here. That's a lot of damage going down. Launch a missile for this, Dale. Boom. Done. Let's do it. Swarm his ass! Swarm his ass! Oh my god, the full focused force of our fleet is formidable! Piles of garbage and old junk are all they had. Well, that sucks. Private vehicles come streaming down. Let's do it! Plenty of combat this time, which I am happy with. Oh, that's some bad damage to the MCV straight away, though. Okay. Two on two action. Down on the bottom. That's an unfortunate shield that we're going to have to deal with here. And this guy's dead already. Oh my god, that worked out pretty well. Alright, back down. You two are focusing on him, and you are going to go over here and go for some one-on-one -on -one bouts. Oh, the MCV is taking a lot of damage, though. His armor is gone. Yikes, that's... That's bad. Well, we got two nearly dead. I'm just making some bad decisions here. Let's go ahead and refocus our targets. Get the hell out of the way of whatever that thing is. And, okay, he's going to be done. I'm going to just finish him off with a missile so we can make sure we keep the priority on this dude. Move over to this side. Keep this going. There it is. We need repairs again. But we got the loot for it. I think I'm going to try to head over to the self-sealing stem, stem bolts first. The Eiffel's Inc. office. Regular stretch of desert. Investigate the area. Particular stretch houses a hidden privateer base. Hmm. Let's wait. Let's scope it out. Doesn't seem to be much activity in the base. You suspect they are unaware of your location. Attacking them now shouldn't leave you at a disadvantage, but you could try... Yeah, let's try waiting a little longer. A large number of private vehicles has left the base, leaving it virtually defenseless. Let's go! Hell yeah! Being patient pays off. They still got some vehicles, but... 
Not gonna be as bad now. I wonder if that was like the privateer mini boss that could have potentially uh, been the target there. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be significantly easier to deal with though. It looks like here. This is gonna be a massive improvement for our condition. Although the MCV is taking a beating here. That's kind of unfortunate. All right, there goes one. These two are gonna get wrecked. You need to move up a touch. Probably just launch a missile to finish this guy off too. Let's do it. Booyah. There we go, we got it. Successfully defeated all the privateers and destroyed the entire base. Doesn't seem to be any form of official deed to this place, but you doubt there ever was any to begin with. The entire base in ruins is unlikely any more privateers will return in the near future. Return to Eiffel's to report your success. We need to head to a campsite. Post haste. We'd have 280 bolts and a lot of gas. This is a heavily infested raider outpost, though. Hopefully we get there in time. Ooh! Gust of wind uncovers a shield! Cool! Why would you leave that? <laughs> Why would you not take it? Alright, let's give the, uh... I guess I can't give the MCV a shield, or can I? What can I do with these? I don't know what those slots are for. Huh. Well, we definitely need to make some repairs to the MCV. Let's do that now. Let's see what they got in their shop as well. They got a ballistic computer, which I like. And a Mark I shield. Not that good. I might buy the ballistic computer. I might buy both, actually. Let's see. You've already got a Mark III shield. I don't know if a Mark II shield is going to improve your situation. You can't actually house one, but you can. Let's do that. You've also got a light pulse razor. Razor? You're attacking enemies with a razor blade. That's impressive. Okay. Need to get you guys back up to full speed. I don't know why I did that last one. Let's go ahead and buy this. The Mark I shield, because it's better than nothing. Or it might even stack, actually. It does. Ooh, look at that. Look at that super-powered shield, man. That's a Mark II and a Mark I turning into, like, a Mark V somehow. <laughs> I'll live with that. Do we have slots to equip more weapons here, too? I don't think we do. No, yeah, everybody's just rocking their best gear right now. Actually, you know what? I think a Light Pulse laser might be better with the, uh, with the rocket artillery. Or maybe not. Hmm. We need armor piercing on this guy. He's not gonna do a lot on his own. Wish I had those options just with the shop purchases I've been able to make. Probably not gonna happen though. I think I'll buy this too. Because I think I have the slots for it from someone. Someone I'm sure can equip this. Yeah, there we go. Well, this is a computer for this guy. Alright. Not bad. Where are we at now? We got the stem bolts, which we can just go acquire no matter where we go, pretty much. Let's go for some other stuff. Let's go for the flux capacitor. I think we're in decent enough shape to maybe pursue more quest objectives, but obviously we want to go uh, try to hit up some of these other points as well. You pass many rocky cliffs whilst traveling through the desert. A great, great deal of wrecks litter the cliff sides and natural inclines. Most of the vehicles are too damaged to be of any use, but you manage to find one and get 56 free bolts. Broken down neon sign reads, Caesar's Chop Shop. You spot a gray-haired man. He's busy disassembling parts left and right whilst bobbing his head and drumming on whatever he's got his hands on to the rhythm only he can hear. Talk to the man. New face, welcome. What can I do for you? Give me a reason not to kill you. Let's talk business. You got vehicles, I got bolts. I scrap armor. It's what I do best. Take a look at the stuff you got outside. I can probably use some of it. Scrap my armor? Hell no, prepare to die. After some well-aimed shots, Caesar drops to the floor in a bloody mess. Upon inspection of the chop shop, you manage to collect 28 bolts and 11 gas, and let's go. Sure. That's... That's a reasonable, humane thing to do. A band of raiders circled around a young man wearing a really nice suit and some sunglasses, talking on a cell phone. Leader of the Raiders is yelling very angri angrily at the man in a suit, who keeps talking on his cell phone with calm demeanor. Uh, the leader picks it up and his face gets instantly pale. He begins yelling at his men. They all get back in their cars and leave. They're heading straight toward your convoy. Let's do it! Why did his face get all pale? That's what I'm wondering about. Ooh, they got a few... Oh, they got a few fast failers here. All right, then. Let's do it. Launch that quick missile. He's going to go down. Raiders don't tend to have a lot of uh, armor, which works splendidly for me. Change this over here, and we just gotta start 
targeting these two folks up here. This shield is super strong now. Oh my god, have you guys seen this? This guy can't be touched. That's gonna be fantastic. There we go. There we go. Let's change it up. I think he's gonna go down without too much too much more of a struggle. I don't know why you're moving backward, but I guess yeah, there we go. Now we got it. All the raiders have been defeated while you're busy investigating the wrecks, the young man approaches your convoy. You suspect this man isn't much older than 18. Oh, it's Frowley! Uh, yeah, let's take him with us. We gotta get rid of somebody here to make room for Hyperwheel. I think probably Jen Fitzner is gonna be the uh, least valuable member of our crew. He's got himself a light pulse laser. You're rocking dual auto cannons. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave you behind. Okay, we need to abandon something here though. Probably gonna be the light MG, and uh, that'll do. Read the way. Okay. Looking a little better now. Got some good crew members. And we've got a shield that we can apply to somebody if we have the space for it. Transmit picks up. Looks like meat back on the menu. All right, let's see if Frowley can handle himself with the hyperwheel here. Let's see what you can do, friend. Friendo to the Mendo. Easy shot there. There we go. That's good damage, actually. Holy shit. I don't know why you're rolling all the way around when you can easily just do that. You sassy little baby. Wow. I think we've got some pretty serious damage here now. Oh my god, man. Holy shit. And the AID as well. Hmm. So we could have a ramming vehicle here, too. Trying to open communications with a single privateer vehicle. Thriftwood Mighty Privateer. Rhyming insult fighting. I remember this, yeah, from Mr. Thriftwood. Uh, you can't match my witty repartee. Hmm, then be a god- then be a god dog. I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless filet. Uh... Oh, you know what? It's probably repartee, so he's probably looking for us to rhyme this. That makes no sense whatsoever. You are obviously not fit to roam this desert. Goodbye, good sir. Damn. I think I got it wrong. Oh well. Let's go ahead for this flux capacitor. You arrive at the professor's laboratory littered with various bits of machinery, presumably discarded experiments. A white-haired, distraught-looking man walks out. You found me? I'm warning you. I've got mighty science weapon things. I'm not afraid to use them. Calls bluff. You are cleverer than I anticipated. You were right in thinking that I did not, in fact, have super science weapons. I subject to your mercy. Take everything you want. Don't harm my experiments. Came to the right place. You did quite an expert on those babies, if I might say so myself. I have one lying around, actually. You can buy it off me, no problem. I'm afraid it is custom made, though, so you'll need my help to actually install it on your spaceship. A little bit of insurance, you might say. It stops people from kill killing me and stealing it. You'd be surprised how often people try that. Only $500, uh... We lack the parts. I'm a man of science, not a philanthropist. Come back when you have the parts. Yes, I'll keep it ready until you get back. What did we agree upon? 300, right? No time to keep chatting, gotta work to- Oh, hey, well. 300, yes, that's right. Perfect. Load this baby up and let's head to your spaceship. I'll fix that baby up real good. Okay, well, that was easy. Cool. When you have the bolts, apparently it becomes a much simpler procedure of just, Oh, well, we'll pay the money and we get the thing and there we go. Everyone's happy. Private TV vehicles. Uh, 80 bolts, we blast you to bits. So usually, I guess, when they are charging after me and ready to fight, when the radio signals, they probably just want to demand something. Which I am not a fan of. Alright, I'm splitting up my targets here, which usually is not the best idea. I also don't like how many shields this enemy group has right now. Let's go ahead and launch that missile right now. That works pretty well, okay. Ooh, the MCV's taking some shots. Taking some pot shots here. Alright, there goes one. Change targets to you. You're gonna move up to the front so he can finish him off. He's still within range easily. You're gonna go down here, and now we're gonna switch over to that. Alright. You need to start moving up. You need to start moving up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get dangers on the path. You need to target him. Actually, let's go ahead and ram him. Freaking ram him, buddy. Let's do it. Go, go, go. Hit him with that shit. Now you all friends are gonna start laying it on thick for this feller. In fact, you're gonna go down pretty easily. Let's go ahead and give this guy some help. Oh, 
Of course. Right on cue. We need to get the hell out of the way. All right, that does the job. He's going down. No longer in danger. And a shield mark one. Got to abandon something. Probably going to be this, considering it's worse than the shield that we've got. Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go, over to the Sonic Screws now. Torvac Intelligence Sub should be somewhere around this area. Numerous Torvac vehicles patrol the area around it. I kind of want to attack it. I kind of want to attack it. I'm going to try. Before you get in reach to engage the Torvac vehicles in combat, the auto turrets pelt your convoy with bullets. They manage to get a critical hit in one of your vehicles, which explodes in a ball of fire. Apparently they killed one of us? Oh, he's barely alive. Wow, oh my god, and the MCV is in bad shape here too. Okay, so, we gotta be really smart about this. This is obviously a very dangerous play for me to try to uh, attack the Torvac base head-on. So let's see if I can actually manage to handle it. Start off by prioritizing targets. I want to try to keep this guy alive, so let's actually maybe move him out of harm's way. Okay, he's gonna go down. We're gonna prioritize targets with the three vehicles that still have- Oh my god, they're destroying the MCV. Holy shit. Holy shit, that was fast. Get in the way. Get in the way right now. Oh my god, I might be dead. I might be dead. Holy shit. Alright, while he's over here, you might as well try to help him out. I don't know why you're moving now. Oh god, okay. I'm dead. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I should have been better prepared for that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well. See, that's what I get for attacking the Torvac with a half-health MCV. I think they did a lot of that damage by themselves, though. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Convoy. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be a little bit smarter about attacking the Torvac next time, but I like the idea of going for a lot more side objectives, so we'll have to continue to employ that strategy moving forward. Thanks for watching. See you next time.